P2P networking, P2P networking, a case study of BitTorrent protocol. No, this is a technical talk. Okay. <clears throat> Please excuse me with my handwriting. And in case if you <laughs> find it like a difficult, please ask me. I will explain you. P2P, peer-to-peer. -peer. P2P is a peer-to-peer -peer networking. Then it's a hash colon. Uh, colon and a case study of a BitTorrent protocol. So should we shall we start or wait for people to come? So start sir, okay. and uh, how many minutes I have? Huh? 20 to 24. Minutes. Okay, fine. <coughs> no problem. So uh, good morning everyone. So today I am giving this technical talk. So I am going to talk about P2P networking and specially on like a BitTorrent protocol. Uh, why I selected this topic? The reason is that <coughs> it's a completely revolutionary technology it has completely changed the way how we are actually distributing the content so before i start with this particular <coughs> topic i <coughs> just wanted to give you some kind of like a history so as of now how we are actually distributing a content content in the sense music you can say video programs movies everything so this is a very traditional way right now that we are uh, approaching the first way is that by maybe the satellite channel we are distributing the programs to all the subscriber maybe if we are going to a movie theater then through movie theater then movies are distributed to everyone then if you see the song or any kind of thing so we are buying a CD or maybe you are buying something on online this is the way traditional way of like distributing all the content so now <coughs> uh, time says that that this kind of like a channel of distributing content is not good enough we need to go beyond that and there are several reasons to it so one particular case that we are going to see is that about the tv programs so how tv program is actually been uh, distributed so first of all you subscribe to particular like a channel or maybe you give some money to cable wala and then they are providing you the, all these programs now <clears throat> in this content distribution very important thing is that all this content is coming free of charge to you free of charge means what you are only paying to maintain the instrument or maintaining the network otherwise you are actually not paying any money for the content right so how basically the content producer they are getting the money they are earning lots of money through the advertisement right so generally for a tv program there is one parameter which is called as a trp rating trp rating is extremely important if you wanted to know which particular channel is like a hit, which particular program is very popular among the people, so there is a TRP rating. Now this TRP rating has many faults. First of all, this TRP rating is not a foolproof. Why? Because here some meters are actually installed to few people's house and it depends on like a sampling technique. So it's another like a topic, but just let's say using a sampling technique, they are putting those meters to someone's house with a different kind of like an income group different kind of like a background and then they see how much time they are spending on like a tv which particular channel which particular show is going to be like you know trp and based on that trp tv channel or any uh, channel owner they are deciding the rates of your <coughs> program let's say if it is between eight o'clock to nine o'clock the advertisement charge will be the highest because it's called as a prime time right so from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, it's under the prime time slot. Below that thing, so as per the afternoon slot, morning slot, everything. So this kind of advertisement rate changes, right? So what happened? <clears throat> this particular case, it's not a foolproof. I mean, because lots of channels, they, you know, play with this kind of like a data. And uh, there is, I can say that there is no absolute method to measure that. Whether my program is viewed by how many people, how many people actually enjoyed that even though you like the content but it is not necessary that you are going to view the particular program on that time slot just for example people like <clears throat> working in a corporate they are so much busy that even though they are very much interested for particular program they generally see the program maybe 
uh, after some time they just pre record it and then they uh, see that program so how to deal all with this thing how to get a like a proper data so there is a new model coming up so in this new model <clears throat> they are saying that we can use piracy as a distribution model and even this piracy can earn you some money for that so how to do that what to we have to do in this thing that maybe we can discuss maybe some other time so for to learn about that particular model the basic we need is about the p2p networking right so today we are going to know about this underneath technology right and how this underneath technology can help you in developing a new distribution model it's very important and i was working on one project on specially on all those kind of like a trp rating for a tv for radios and all that thing <clears throat> so that time it is i come to know that thing that this particular like have many problem i mean normal our trp model and all that thing right okay so in p2p networking <coughs> what is p2p i think it's a very well known no and then it is uh, known to everyone uh, especially uh, i think people from like a networking background they know all about this p2p it's nothing but peer to peer means you are connecting one computer to another or maybe one trans receiver to another trans receiver and then you are sharing the content between them right so that is a normal p2p now <coughs> in case let's say i have a very good collection of some songs and i wanted to share it with my friends right so in this case i am using any kind of like a p2p like a programming or maybe a protocol i can easily share all my contents to that particular fellow just simply i need to connect my computer with that person's computer and i can copy the file right how we are actually doing right now in our labs and all this thing certain programs we wanted to take it from a server so we just simply copy paste or maybe let's say in one computer i have few files i can just type their ip address and then i can share my uh, folder and after sharing this particular folder i can easily copy all those files and contents right so this is a very <coughs> good example of like a p2p networking now <coughs> what problem we started to face now using this uh, p2p networking somebody come up with a very good idea like e donkey or a kaza these are very like a popular program in 2000s that time particularly from 2002 to 2005 that time it was on a peak so what generally people used to do they used to make those kind of like a connection then share all the movies and songs and everything and this was violating the piracy i mean the uh, copyright part बराबर थैंक यू सो वॉट एपन दिस वॉज वायोलेटिंग ऑल द कॉपी राइट थिंग सो दैट्स वाई ऑल द म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री इन यू एस एंड एवरी वन दिस सेट दैट नो वी वॉन्टेड टू स्टॉप डाउन दिस पर्टिक्युलर लाइक अ प्रोटोकॉल एंड देन दे स्टॉप ऑन पी टू पी नेटवर्किंग सो एंड इवन दो इट वॉज वर्किंग दे वॉज लाइक सेवरल काइंड ऑफ लाइक अ प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल if i wanted to copy a file from one particular computer so connection should be there for entire duration in case i am transferring one file from another computer and you can say just <clears throat> it comes to a 90% and suddenly the connection is broke then entire that 90% of that file is like a useless to you right so the connection should be there for entire like a duration that was the first part second problem was that as i said related to like a piracy or copyright violation because once i am purchasing one song it is only meant to use by me not by like others or maybe i i cannot share this content to someone else right so that was a, a thing and another is if you wanted to develop like entire community in that so everyone needs to have that complete content right everyone if i don't have a complete file of any particular content i cannot share my content to anyone right so these are some of the limitation and also this was very good when there is a broadband connection now in india the broadband connection actually started after long time right maybe you can say after 2008 or 9 onwards we started with like a very broadband technology so the third world country or you can say the developing country they were not like very much using of this particular case i mean for a small file it is okay but if you wanted to transfer any multimedia file let's say just for example movie and nowadays if you see that movie uh, of uh, blue uh, blu ray quality 
you know how much like a uh, storage capacity it takes it is always more than like a 4 gb right so if you wanted to share those kind of like a multimedia content you require to have a large bandwidth then only you can you know transfer those file very quickly and that too with a without breaking any kind i mean without like losing any kind of like a data so these are some of the problem the fail so then there was a need how to make p2p network in a better way and that's how let's give the kind of like a chance to come up with some new kind of innovation so in that case brand kohan he was a like a <coughs> university student at university of buffalo and then he come up with this particular idea that how to use like a bit torrent i think nowadays everyone is using a bit torrent i mean torrent is like a very popular among all of us for downloading some movies programs or maybe books or whether it's a legal or illegal we'll discuss another time but yes we use that right so this particular idea came by that particular student brian kohan and then he took a break from university and he was like uh, fully working on this particular technology for distributing a content and then best part was that uh, unfortunately his venture couldn't like get succeeded but he put all this work as a open source then everyone started using those kind of thing and so earlier the version he i think released in 2002 july and then new version of that particular you know the protocol is keep coming and i think up till 2030 it is completely mature there is now no more uh, version that at least i have seen it is coming in 2000 i think last was in 2013 so you can say it's completely like now mature protocol and it has already completed 5 years i mean going to about to complete a 5 years now right and it was also recognized as a one of the best innovation uh, top 100 innovations by mit journal and the person who did was under 35 so there was a list of that and he was rated at this so how bit torrent is basically working so bit torrent works in a different way first of all what it does is that it is dividing the entire file into small small chunks right so let's say this is my file i have and its capacity is of just for example 1 gb so what happens first is divide this files into small small chunks right very small small chunks you divide the entire content okay now when you work with this torrent technology there are two kind of like a person who is like contributing in a network one it is called as a seeder and one it is called as a leechers right okay so who are the seeders seeders are the people who have the entire file or you can say the entire file of 1 gb data is with them they are considered as a seeder now who are the leeches <clears throat> these are the leeches who are actually getting all the contents but they are not putting any content in basically or contributing in a network so i'll come to that part little later and then there is a third category it is known as the peers now seeder and peers are extremely important they are making this entire network uh, uh <coughs> working and make it like a work for a like a long duration so who are peers peers are the people who have this file but not entire file maybe the some part of that maybe some few chunks over here few chunks over there they are having this file and now they are sharing with each other so once you enter into any kind of like a torrent so how basically the torrent works so you try to download first torrent file now what is a torrent file have anybody have seen that so torrent file is nothing but it is a address of this chunks right so what happen let's say this is my one i am simplifying this thing chunk number 1 chunk number 2 chunk number 3 so i am giving all this kind of like a piece right so what happen when you are downloading this particular program so it may happen that let's say how peer to peer network start developing or so many like interconnection so it's like mesh topology so this is just for an example right 
let's say here that you are actually taking the data now here i am giving when you download that torrent file it is nothing but address of all this entire file so let's assume that 1 gb is divided into 100 so 1 to 100 chunks are there now this chunk they have given the number to it right now <clears throat> once i download that thing then i go to u torrent protocol right what is u torrent protocol so micro torrent or maybe if you are using any other like a protocol so maybe any program so in u torrent you put that torrent file into that one right and then within a few seconds it will start searching who are your nearby peers or who are actually the seeders so once you get this seeder and once you know this peer what happened this network is start forming now it is sending all this small small chunk right so at the most what you are going to get is that maybe like a few chunks not entire file right so first of all it is solving the problem bottleneck problem of like a bandwidth in earlier case entire file i need to send so you need to have high uh, <coughs> broadband connection but here even if you have like a small bandwidth connection still it is going to work right because entire file is not coming to you but the small chunks are coming to you right so you will not have any kind of like a bottleneck in your network all right okay now <clears throat> because i am giving the numbers so what is the advantage of it in case let's say in between i am losing a connection so what happened whatever the chunks i have completely download that you don't need to re-download it right so let's say right now i am downloading the chunk number five so i am going to lose only that particular chunk not the entire file so when i'll start again my downloading what will happen the earlier four chunk that i'll have so i'll not lose the entire data maybe just a small part of a data i'll lose so i am going to start from five right so this particular gives you the advantage that you are not losing any kind of like a data even if you lose your connection right okay <clears throat> now so as you are getting this entire like chunks then this particular torrent file it will help you to give a link list okay chunk one is this chunk one is that chunk and then it is creating entire library and then it is adding the media file right it's stitching it's kind of like a stitching so you will have this entire file and then you can play now as of now as you are like a collecting all the data so you are considered as a leacher leacher means what which is taking up something right so this is you are working as a leacher okay now <clears throat> you are once you download like a few chunks what happened this particular chunk also you start contributing in uh, your network means what let's say someone else is actually coming into your particular like a network so what will happen this are new they don't have any kind of plug chunk but at least you will have five to six chunks so you can start giving them some kind of like a chunk right and then <clears throat> this entire thing start working as a network right so now you are also working as a seeder sorry working as a peer and also you are working as a leeches right so then you are also contributing in particular like a network okay <clears throat> so here once you have this entire file with you and you still keep uploading your data right see there are two kind of thing that you can do in network one it is downloading and one is uploading so always <clears throat> when you are not having the entire file your downloading speed is going to be high means your maximum bandwidth is going to be utilized only for a downloading purpose but when you have the entire file that time what happened your downloading will be the zero or you can say negligible and then your uploading is going to be maximum right so this is very important why because you want to sustain the network you also need to content or do some kind of contribution in network if you don't do that thing then network will not survive and then entire network is going to be fall apart so we don't want that okay i'll come to that part later on so right now okay as you are a leecher your download speed is going to be high compared to your upload speed right and once you become a seeder or you become a peer your this speed is going to be managed between this two right so this is very important <clears throat> okay so that's how basically this particular 
protocol works okay so as i said what are the advantage in this one because of sending entire file first of all you are dealing with a small chunk so you just need to work on that small chunk okay so you will not lose your data even though you have like a low bandwidth like a connection still it is going to work and then okay piracy issue will also come here or maybe you can say the copyright issue will also come over here so how to solve that that is like a next step so first of all this particular protocol and everything is clear to you okay so now i wanted to <coughs> discuss what are the challenges that we have in this one the first and a very important challenge that we have is a free rider problem free rider problem means what let's say if i am a new member in this particular like a network right so new member anyways i don't have any content so i am going to get a content from everyone right and what will happen if i am just getting the content but i am not contributing anything <coughs> within the network right so i work just only as a like a leacher part and if everybody start doing that then what will happen network is not going to exist right so if we wanted to make this network to exist it is also important that each and every one who is taking from this network they also need to put something in a network right so that is why if you see most of the torrent site if you see and uh, they there you have to maintain a ratio ratio will be what maybe 1 to 0.8 or maybe few site will ask you that 1 to 1 ratio you have to maintain what is 1 to 1 1 to 1 means what if you are downloading 1 gb so you need to upload at least 18 800 mb so then only you are eligible to come next time in the network and get some kind of like a content otherwise you are not allowed or you are going to ban from this particular like a network right okay in some case it is 1 to 1 so whatever content you are downloading at least you have to contribute that much content into this now you can contribute in two way either you create or make a torrent of some new file and put it over there or maybe whatever you have download you just support them in downloading that thing right so these are the two things that you have to take care now <clears throat> problem is that any person who is newly join in this particular network they don't have any kind of like a history right if i am joining this particular group for the first time i don't have any history so they need to believe on me right so how just for example when you open some kind of like a account in a bank so they will give you some kind of like a credit just for example in jandan ada they are even though you just open it they will give you the credit of 5000 rupees as you start improving on it thing they will increase your credit right so this is i think similar to what we are using in finance <coughs> uh, industry so here as you start developing your kind of like a history then it will help you to develop your reputation or maybe you can say your maintaining of this particular like a ratio so what happened there is a big problem of a free rider there are people who just come they take the content and they go away from the network then they will again they will come and no so here how you are going to believe on a first comer if i don't allow first comer then obviously then no new member is going to join my network so then again i'll have a survival problem and if i let them come into my network and then if they are working as a like a free rider then what i am going to do so these are some of the challenges that we have so how to solve that particular problem so then there are different kind of like a mechanism that are adapted maybe the first one as i said that you need to minimum maintain certain kind of like a ratio then there is a reputation mechanism then there is a trust kind of like a mechanism then in some cases it is also based on virtual currency so if you are doing this particular ratio you will get some currency so next time when you take part into the network you have to barter those currency with the content so that is also there each method have their advantage and disadvantage <laughs> now where i am interested so i am basically very much interested in a free riding problem how to solve that free riding problem that can uh, you know uh, make your network sustainable and then also it will help you to uh, get content without any kind of hassle 
generally if you don't maintain so what are the punishment they generally give you is that that uh, you have to wait <coughs> for a longer time to get your content another thing is that if you don't actually contribute anything in a network so next time they will ban you from that or it is going to take longer time and this particular network it's refresh after every 30 minutes in certain protocol it is after 20 minutes so new joinee whatever they wanted to join they can come into the network they start downloading all the content right so these are some of the advantage disadvantage of bit torrent technology so with this i would like to end over here and if any question any doubt please let me know yes sir how long that system as far as you are the member of this network so in certain i mean i'll i'll just give you one example i was a member of like a dc torrent or something right now it is existing or not i don't know but over there we are going to get some stars stars and then how much content i have downloaded so let's say if i have contributed 10 gb of data so then my ranking will be high i consider that as a like they give some ranking okay that this is like a at a soldier level then it is like like at major level or something they were following like some military ranking so if i have contributed a lot so then i'll be over there now you will be surprised to know if in internet if you just take out the torrent so you will surprise to know that that at least 60% to 70% of the capacity will be the empty because majority of the institute or internet is facing this uh, traffic is only because of this kind of like a torrent and that is the reason in most of the uh, corporate or you can say the organization they are banning on this thing but people are very smart they go to proxy and then again they keep downloading it so there are ways to work on it right so why it is important because torrent is actually giving you some kind of a new technology to <clears throat> distribute your content now i am talking about like this kind of like a film and this thing just assume that how we can use this particular technology for education right education or maybe in open source i wanted to send my content to all the people even at the rural area where they have a very limited bandwidth connectivity as of now there is no connectivity but in future they are going to get a limited connectivity so within a limited connectivity also i can give them the best kind of like a content that will be my aim so how i can use this bit torrent protocol in this particular scenario so that's where it is interest me more how to uh, solve that particular like a uh, bottleneck problem uh, solving a bottleneck problem creating kind of like a reputation and all any other question yes 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 that is because right now let's say for just for example i mean the latest release is a padmavat right so in padmavat i'm right now i'm downloading it and then i'm putting it on like a torrent so as a seeder so if i have the full content i'm working as a seeder so this is the best chance for me to improve my ratio right let's say my ratio comes down to 0.5 but because this is a new release everyone is going to be interested and they are going to download my content and i can take this my ratio to a very high value 1 raised to 2 1 raised to 3 1 raised to 4 like that so this kind of thing always keep changing and then there is a leecher and what i have explain you is that a very simple one actually even all this chunks they also have some kind of like a weightage weightage means what certain part generally what happen when you reach to like a 90% so what happen <coughs> seeder is out of this thing and no particular peers is going to have that particular chunk then again you stuck up you cannot download entire content so what happen it divides into different weight it will give weightage some low weightage high weightage high priority weightage so what happen as a seeder it is not necessary i am going to start downloading from chunk number 1 maybe i can even start from downloading chunk number 10 because anyways at the end i am going to stitch it so what happen some critical part i download it earlier compared to other one because there is a high chance that people will start downloading but then they go away because in this network there are people from a different country so there is a different time zone so indian people will be available from 11 o'clock to let's say 4 or 5 o'clock right and after that they are gone but us people they will have a different time 
so till that time you are going to stuck if your network is not going to exist yes so this role keeps changing so even there is some kind of like a different matrices that you have to adapt for that yes central control is there because here the seeder let's say seeder 1 seeder 2 seeder 4 maybe 4 or 5 seeder they are actually and this entire thing is a distributed in a way but where it is located because certain country they don't allow this kind of like a torrent just for example in usa it is banned so what generally they do they take it to some european country maybe some some russian country some small country where there is no ban in that so yes there is a central entity in monitoring the content or traffic but in a way it is a completely distributed you don't have any kind of like a control over the content that is flowing in but on entire network yes you can have the control so many government just for example uae or saudi arabia they have a strict rule for this thing if you caught then you will be in a big trouble and us they come to know about it immediately the federal law they will uh, take down your uh, this one so most of those kind of like a servers you will find in crote area the siberia something like that it's zack republic and then maybe some small part of like a european country Yeah, so that is that is a problem. So that is this issue is there. I mean, how to take over this thing? It is like this. so to deal with this piracy, we need actually new kind of like a distribution model. Just for example, I mean that was I discussed in earlier uh, few minutes. See, right now how actually we are charging on any particular program? More the people they are looking at this particular channel, then higher the rate of advertisement. but if i reverse that model more the people they are looking at this particular content i'll charge them the lower the price of advertisement you know so it will make in a reverse way the content will be so cheap why people will go and buy some kind of like unauthorized thing right just for example right now if i uh, want to get some kind of like you know the book ebook it is giving me for 5 rupees in a kindle and it is giving me like a let's say 700 for printed book okay over there i'll be tempted that no i cannot spend 700 rupees so maybe i'll go to some roadside shop and then try to buy the xerox copy of or maybe the lower version of that maybe in 100 rupees but the same thing if technology is giving me in 5 rupees do you think that people will tend towards that so it's a natural people's behavior that okay i'll not buy like for a high end technology but the same thing is available within like my range then okay i'm going to do it now i'll give you another example right now let's say if you wanted to watch a movie if you just go to any kind of like a multiplex or something obviously for a member of four you are going to spend 1500 rupees for a movie right so <clears throat> you will think about it that okay this much i can spend every time or not right so instead of that the same legal copy if you are getting for 50 rupees are you willing to pay that money <coughs> yes of course i mean you will say that thing yes if i am getting this kind of thing if a entire family can see the same movie why i should like you know even bother for that the of that they will be in trouble exactly so that means here we need a some kind of innovation in a business model that can give you the same kind of revenue see for a content maker what is the final aim i should get the best revenue that i can generate from my revenue whether i am generating that revenue from piracy distribution model or maybe a traditional distribution model doesn't concern to me as far as i am getting whatever i am expecting as a revenue so yeah netflix netflix is one of the example still but like membership fees as still it is high i mean it is good for like a, a middle income group but not for the lower middle income group so and uh, in usa this is a different challenge but in india we have a different challenge right how to now how many of you are like a subscriber member of like a amazon prime okay including myself because they are giving in a such a yes. like a low price so i am happy with that thing they are just giving me what i mean i have spent 400 rupees for a year so that comes to like 30 40 rupees per month nahi huh? now 500 is some thousand okay ha huh? 
okay maybe I because when i bought it i just bought it immediately when they release this kind of thing so it cost me like 400 rupees sir. so if they are giving me those kind of subscribe rate only 400 for entire year i'm happy with that thing i'm ready to pay money for it no sir, problem i mean i think maybe few years few years down the line of hmm. movies looking at this piracy yes. movies might release only online and maybe we have to buy the movie no ah, correct so i mean that is the only way uh, most of the indian movies they are being on pirate pirate right. models yes. they are doing more yes so we need the movie online and we can watch and see they are planning with that it comes with a time frame yes, yes. Share right right, right. even for prime it is like that if i download the movie it is valid only for like 48 hours i guess yeah 48 hours And after that it will be share. moved over yes you cannot share that is fantasy model is also one business yeah so that is i mean so next time i'll talk about that thing there is one like a professor in uh, australian university i don't remember the uh, university name so he is a big like uh, i can say the advisor or you can say the big push for this kind of like a model that we should adopt this one so i'm not 100% agree with him like his views but yes we can take this particular model and we need to come up with another those kind of like innovation thing now here the main thing forget about that piracy issue but what torrent is actually giving you is that with a lower bandwidth you can still send all the content and you can reach to the mass and it becomes like a popular now recently i mean i don't know how many of you so there is a very good product by uh, saregama that is a hvm earlier in a 5000 rupees sorry 6000 rupees they are giving the entire radio and then 5000 songs so that means ideally you are spending 1 rupee per song and with that you are also getting the hardware for free their fm is there then then um, uh, usb connection is there so it is a very good i mean so ha huh? yeah so and, and uh, 5000 song is i mean really too much i mean if you are a fan of like all uh, uh radio radio shows of bina ka geet mala and all that thing so entire program is there from last 50 years so yes 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 right 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 so this is a very good product so where i mean technology is helping us to come up with a business innovation so then we combine this and make it like a more popular okay because now this technology those correct but yes yes true 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 very true otherwise is there there are here polydor and the uh. hmv now polydor is a huge scrap now uh, hmv has started saregama ha saregama they are, they are now so recently they have actually launched this product if you are interested just look at it you can present it to your parents it's a really great gift so <clears throat> any other yeah yeah duplication of data will not happen because you know let's say this particular is chump i mean let's say this is a my <coughs> cedar it is having chunk number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 right this particular cedar is having 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 and i am here now i will accept what i don't have let's say i don't have the chunk number 2 okay chunk number 2 i am going to take it from here it's say i am going to don't have the chunk number 5 i am going to check chunk number 5 so for me there is no duplication of data right so then you can avoid it because already you are giving this is another advantage actually of this technology the same kind of chunk doesn't come to you again and again any other question so if not then thank you very much for listening to this